Hello guys, how far art thou diddling? Casual gamers, back again. And it wouldn't be a show without Punch. So many games have tried to uh, achieve uh, what you're about to see now. Um, it was attempted on the, on the Genesis, on the Mega Drive, um, two arcade conversions. Now the question is, what would you rather have, a poor arcade conversion or this, right? So without any further ado, this is just the original uh, nostalgia. Uh, we've got the trainer there, we'll just start the game. Press both buttons, we're on the old Amiga 500. A very uh, trustworthy machine, apart from the power pack. I can remember that burning out more times than enough. But it, I mean, it still is a great machine, yeah, and uh, sought after. So Vroom, back in 1991, by Lanco, um, was the, um, it's that sensation of speed that you get, maybe like F-Zero, uh, I don't know, but that's a good comparison. But, um, you know, Formula One racer, um, I like to use the, the manual gearbox, for a bit sort of more well sort of simulation it's not a simulator it is indeed uh, an arcade racer so if you were looking for a bit of racing action back then high speed formula one didn't have to look any further really um, and again it's tough it's not going to be easy So we've got a short loading time on the A500. Coming up to the uh, the main game screen in just a few seconds. And there you have it. Um, let's drop it down, leave it on arcade, joystick controls. I hope this works well. Um, I did look, download this pre-wrapped from uh, Games Nostalgia. Um, but unfortunately, unfortunately, I suffered a lot of flicker in there. So... I thought I'll just run it through the emulator, see how it goes. So as I overtake the cars, you'll see cars appear, the number of cars appear. From, I think it's green to red, I think. And then you get into red, you're in qualifying position. But no turbos, I like that. I didn't even see the lights change there. A slow start shouldn't be a, too much of an issue. These are working okay. I'm just thinking maybe I should have run this on the uh, yeah, 500 plus. I wonder if there's any difference there. I'm not sure if my mate had this, he was on the uh, the year 600. It's a dodgy corner. Bit of a bottleneck as we drop down into this section. Get a bit of a bottleneck at this point here, which is a bit of a bugger. But if you can get past them, and you'll do well to get past them in that bottleneck. Easy does it. Out at the corner. Through the tunnel. Oh, bugger. What a bummer. I think I played this last time, sod. On the A500 Plus, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure whether that had extra RAM. I'm not sure what it had. I only had the standard one, which was more than enough. Compatibility was a nightmare back then. Total nightmare, I can remember. 
couldn't play many of the games on the A1200 unless it like supported AGA graphics but anyway so we're still on uh, lap one I'm not sure if this is a qualifying lap, I ain't got a clue now. the bottleneck and hopefully we'll get past him and get under the straight another one just overtook me there so I think we're in qualifying position now lap two and that was ridiculously bad A build up behind me, I think. Oh, man, how did you not see that coming? I was looking for pole position, not this. You do tend to get thrown right over there. Sod off. He's stuck in fourth. Lap three. Lap four. What the playing that here? What are they playing? Can be a full on battle this. wasn't easy drop it down again just in case and that's a black spot there running the back of some geezer we made it now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna check this out just to see if um, just to see if it is slicker on the a500 plus or the a600 maybe I don't ever work on the a600 because that was a bit sort of uh, a bit iffy compatibility wise um, yeah I can remember that because a friend of mine bought actually bought it and you had lots of Issues, he couldn't play the same games. I don't know what went on there, I don't know what they were thinking of. I suppose they could just see sort of like the future and they thought well, we've done those games, they're not important anymore. Um, some of them did work, mind, but the vast majority. Oh, there. Bloody Austria. As you can see, those mountains in the background, or the clouds. 
Oh, they're all over me like flies. As you can see, the map at the top left. And that's exactly what you don't want to do. So I failed again in Austria. Sod it. Anyway, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Leave your comments below. And I will see thee real soon for more Vroom. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.